<laughs> You're not helping. <sighs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I would like to respond to a question that was asked um, recently in, uh, in one of my other videos. And the question was, Peter, hi, have you ever tried to scan and clean up a booklet uh, order on paper, but without cutting, ungluing? Let me try to explain. You have, a four, you have a four pages on one paper sheet, two front, two back. And when you scan that booklet order, final PDF is one, is in one word a mess. Do you maybe have an idea how to clean that is easy if that is possible so that the pages will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in continuous order? So I think I understand the question. So for example, here's a, a booklet that I do not want to uh, cut up or destroy. It's got some sentimental value. You can see it's printed uh, like a booklet so that these are eight and a half by 11 inch standard letter size pages. But if I dare to take the staples out, which I would be willing to do, that's not very destructive, and start scanning these pages, these sheets, you end up with a mess. Because for example, on this first sheet, you'd have on one side the front cover and the back cover, and then the next sheet, you'd have the inside front cover and inside back cover, the order's messed up. So the question is, how can you scan that and clean it up so you end up with a nice scan page by page? So let me demonstrate that. I'm going to do it with a, with a slightly shorter brochure just to, to make the point more quickly. So this is a, a brochure I've already removed staples from. Um, and it's basically two sheets of paper with two pages on each side. So there's a total of four pages on each sheet. It's an eight, eight page brochure on two sheets of paper. How can we scan it and how can we clean it up? Let's do that. Now, I do want to clarify. The question did say without ungluing or unstapling. If you absolutely cannot unstaple or it's glued together, what I'm about to show you will still be helpful. Uh, however, you're obviously uh, not able to feed in multiple sheets with a sheet feeder with the trusty Epson ES200. So in that case, you would have to use a flatbed scanner. However, you might be able to still apply the following techniques. We fire up our trusty NAPS2 scan software. And uh, so the staples have been removed. This is essentially two sheets of paper, double-sided. I'm just going to put this in the old scanner here. Just putting them in, in the normal order they are in the book. We'll clean up order and split things up in a minute. And I'm going to uh, scan right now. I'm not going to go into too many details. This is all covered in another video. I'm just going to use standard scan settings, auto page detect. Um, actually, in this video, we're going to use OCR as provided in NAPS2, just because I can. Okay, so there's my two two-sided sheets, so four images, and they are each with two pages per side. So there's our eight pages. So what can we do? We've got to rotate them, obviously. So let's do that. Can rotate more than one at once, but this one has to rotate clockwise. This has to rotate counterclockwise. By the way, I'm holding down, let's see, control to select two and rotate them right. That looks about right. And then these two, control click, rotate left. Okay, so now they're lined up. Now we've just got the problem with the the ordering and just the grouping. So if I zoom in, for, for instance, let's go to this page. I've got page two right next to page seven. Obviously not good. If I go to the next side of the next sheet, I've got page six next to page three. Now what we want. So first, I am going to duplicate this image. And I'll, this will be the same process. We'll just have to repeat it a few times. So first, I'm going to copy and then right click paste. And now I've got two images. Let's just put it down to the bottom here. Let me just make this a bit easier to see and I'm going to move this one up to the top. So now I've got the outside cover, let's call it, twice. So let's make this one the first page. So I'm going to double click to edit and go into crop mode and we'll just crop this down to about here. Looks good. 
And then the reason I duplicated it, I'm going to do the same thing with the back cover. So I'm going to double click to go into edit mode, go into crop mode, and I'm going to crop this one the other way. So it's just the last page or back cover of the brochure. And I'm going to lather, rinse, repeat. We'll just speed up the video here. Last but not least, just reorder things. So page one, then we want page two. Page eight's the last one. I'll put that down there. Then page, let's see, where's page three? Page four, page five, page six, page seven, page eight. So now I've got them all in order, all separated, one page per image. And we can just save that out to a PDF. And let's just double check what we have. Let's get this out of the way. Open this up. Just opening this up an edge. And there you go. Page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, six, seven, eight. And it's even OCR'd, even though I rotated it, the OCR worked. And that was OCR'd from within NAPS 2, which for this example is fine. This is good enough for me. So just out of curiosity, how big was that scan? file size uh, 5 meg so not a very efficient scan again if I'd gone through and then reprocessed it through uh, through uh, Adobe I would have uh, been able to probably tighten that up a bit better still that's not the point of this video the point of this video was to show how you can scan a brochure and uh, without cutting it up get the pages in order so I hope that answers the question thanks for watching everyone